Hi. In this video, I'll show you a particular requirement that I had for a board. You see this, this was a hole that is required for fixing the board on the box. The requirement was that from each of these ends, the center of the hole should be at 3.5 millimeters. We'll make a similar hole at this point as well, on this side. What I want to show you first is, let's say we don't have this dimension and we don't have this as well, sorry. Now, this is just given to me and I want to replicate it here at exactly a similar position. So how do I find out its location and dimensions? The first thing I did was I set it to a suitable grid option. Right now the grid is one millimeters and it's not exactly running through the center. So what I do is I set it to 0 0.5 millimeters and now you see it is exactly going through the center on both sides so we'll draw a line on both in both the directions this is one and another one this one now to find out what is the distance of this point from each of this end and this end we'll use the dimension tool we select this point and we drag it till here it shows us 3.5 mm and similarly we do for this start from here and here this also is 3.5 mm and we can confirm it through one more point is from this line we count how many number of boxes are there it's 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so 7 into 0 0.5 mm gives us 3.5 mm now we'll go and mark a similar point on the other side. We'll take 3.5 mm and then mark it the same. So here if we see this point is 0, 0,67. So one way is I go down seven steps. One, first I'll select the line tool so that I can start marking immediately. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I start marking from here like this or what I can do is I can use the dimension tool again we'll start here I'll see where I get 3.5 mm it's 3.5 mm here and similarly I'll select for the other side I'll select from here 3.5 okay now I'll draw a line from both of these I start from here and I start from this point. So this point is now at 3.5 mm from both these sides. We can confirm this by extending the line. If I just keep extending this, it meets this line as well. So I know it is at the same distance from this edge. Now what I want to find out is what is the diameter of this. For that again I will use the dimension tool. I will select this point. Not that, or rather this. No, let me just delete this line. And I will delete this and this because we are done with this. We will take the dimension tool, start from here and all the way till here. It shows 4 millimeters. So now we will take circle. We go here and we start extending it. So for 4 millimeters, we need 8 holes, uh, sorry, 8 boxes. We go, when we go 1 here, it actually traverses to 1 on this side and 1 on this side. So we go 1, 2, 3 and 4. The size looks similar. So now we have a circle that is 8 millimeters in diameter let us confirm this yeah sorry 4 millimeters in diameter we have a circle now what we want is i have given here this yellow one which is nothing but a, pa a, a pad or a wire because i wanted a 
copper ring here for more strength. Now I'll add the same here. Once again, I'll take the circle tool. I'll select the layer as via or pad. Let's select via and I'll start drawing here. So this looks very much of the same size. Now we have a wire which is of the same uh, diameter as the circle. We'll go ahead and delete these lines. We'll delete this. We'll delete, sorry, this, 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 and this. And we'll delete. See, uh, when I write, when there are two overlapping layers, right clicking on it will select the other layer. And I delete this. Now you can see this ring is slightly thicker than this ring. So let us go and change the width of this. And there we have it. We can make it even thicker. Go to width 6. So now we have a similar hole on this side as well. The final board which comes will have a hole in the middle and there will be a copper ring on the outside. 